Hello, everyone, for Voice of Reason. This is Jake Schwartz. It is January 7th, 2016, here at Codwell Egan Catholic School. And look who I found here today, one of my favorite Catholic school coaches I've traveled down many roads with. And he's a guy that I can certainly say has earned the respect of not just the Catholic League, but the state of Pennsylvania. My old buddy, Frank Sciola. Frank, uh, good to see you. Welcome to Voice of Reason. Well, first of all, it's great to have the voice here at Common League and Catholic. It's great oh. to have the voice anywhere. Here oh, it's just, he's just, he's, he's too modest. You know what, he, he's so sarc he's, sarcasm is a second language for this man. But I'll tell you what, though, the one thing I love about this man, though, is, is that you have a great job at Pensbury as an English teacher, and I hear you do motivational speaking on the side. What, how's that? Uh, you're the PA Tony Robbins, I hear. Well, I, I mean, I'm, honestly, I'd like to get myself motivated to uh, grade my papers a little bit faster. But uh, <laughs> it's not as much. I don't think it has been a great opportunity in our school district. You know, when I coached at Pensbury, I was there for 15 years, and we used to take our team to all of our elementary schools. So we would take to every elementary school, we'd do a pep round, and we'd talk about literacy and the importance of teachers and, you know, books that we're reading. And that was, and from that, you know, that kind of, springboarded into other opportunities and things like that. But I've been really blessed to, you know, have been surrounded by a lot of good people that have given those opportunities. And it's continued on here at Egan where, you know, again, great people. Yeah, I definitely uh, feel like there's been a lot of great tradition by both of the schools, one of whom is, I believe, is getting married in May. That's Justin Factor, who you told me about earlier today. But one of the things I really wanted to talk to you about was the success that you had. And, as you look to your left, and I want to thank our cameraman again, who is uh, one of the many media relations members here at Conwell Egan. This trophy here signifies something very special to you. It has never been accomplished, and you never got that chance to do that when you were coaching in Pensbury. But in just a short time, you have brought home what's called a 2A state championship. And I never did get the privilege, and I would like to shake your hand, and I do congratulate you for being state champion, something that this school has worked very, very hard for. Uh, in the last probably 40, to, I mean, because this school's been around close to over 100 years, so what does this mean to the good people at Cabo League? I think it's probably longer than that. Well, no, 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 I'm just, it's hard. And when you take a look at last night, Roman and Newman, what an incredible game, the atmosphere that is. Yeah. You think about, oh, yeah. and, you know, Carl Aragale collects state titles like Don Corleone, you know, had politicians sure. And, and, sure. and judges. And for here, and for me, being at, at Pensbury, we were close so many times, and it, it's a tremendous challenge to get there. And now that it's a true state title where you have Philadelphia with everyone, which it wasn't for many years. And so the last 10 years or seven or eight years, you've got to get through the Catholic League and the Public League. And it, it's a challenge. And for Egan, uh, you know, there's been many really good coaches here and a lot of really good players. And we have just were fortunate to have kind of a great combination of kids. And then we were battle tested from the Catholic League. We get into the States. Uh, there's really nothing we haven't seen until, of course, Al Equipa, who we played in the state title game, yeah, was a legit, right. yeah, a legit, a team that would have played and done really well in our league. And uh, to be honest, we had not beaten a team that good all year. So to be able to play that well in that biggest game was a great job by the kids, and they showed a lot of poise. And, and then to bring this home certainly meant a lot, not just to Egan, but our county, because, you know, state titles in our county have been few and far between.